Hi friends, welcome back to Simply Our Home. And in today's video, we'll be adding some spring and Easter decor here in our kitchen. I thought we would start with adding some decor to our, to our kitchen counters and then move into our kitchen eat-in area and do a cute little tablescape for Easter. Now we're just a little under a month to Easter, so I'm bringing out some of the Easter bunnies, Easter eggs, as well as some crosses to represent the real and true meaning of Easter. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amy and I'm glad that you stopped by. I hope that you'll consider subscribing before you go. So if you're interested in seeing all the Easter decor that I have for you in store, stick around. Let's get started. So now that we've added this little cute little vignette here, I just want to go ahead and move on to the left side of the sink. Here I added in my tiered trays. If you happen to miss that video, I can link it up above here in a card and you can check that out after you watch this video. But all I did was add a little um, napkin ring here to elevate the Hello Spring. And then I found this little bird and thought that would just really complete the whole vignette. And then as I pan around here, I just added all of my canisters together and then just added, you know, just put them in order from largest to smallest, just for a little bit of difference. And then added this cute little bunny that was from at home and the carrots are from Hobby Lobby. And then just some stems that I had that look a little bit well, a little bit like lavender, but I don't believe they are. But I just think that pulls a little bit of color over there. Then to this side of the sink, I added this cute little bunny from Walmart. And that basket was from at home. And then the greenery is from Joanne Fabrics. So I love how that turned out. And then I added some wooden spoons to my canister, just to add a little bit of of some wooden element over here beside the oven. And then over here, I love this cute little silo that was in the spring collection at Hobby Lobby. And then these are some of my favorite um, faux plants that are from Amazon. And then the cutting back board back there is from at home. 
So this is how the kitchen counters are looking for spring. I do need to change out the tea towels. Here are the kitchen tea towels that I found off of Amazon. I really love the pattern and that they pick up a little bit of blue without screaming Easter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on the dishwasher as well as on the rack over at the oven. Oh, I want something to go on top of the refrigerator. So I thought my dough bowl would work perfectly for this. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little um, arrangement together that will fit on top of the refrigerator. So here is some of that baby's breath, the green baby's breath from Hobby Lobby. I'm just gonna use this as a filler. Then I wanna add some of these eggs. These ones right here are from at home. So they have the little speckles and they're a little bit like creamy. And then I have an assortment of these, which are green, pink, yellow, and blue. And so I just want to add a little color on top of the refrigerator to draw your eye up there. So let's go ahead and just sporadically place these. be using these beautiful flowers that I found from the hearth and hand line at Target so I do want to pull some pink up there uh, along with some blue of course that's the theme that I'm going for this spring is blue and pink but for Easter of course I'm going a little bit more colorful with all the pastel eggs so I'm just going to place these sporadically and then we will place it up there on top of the refrigerator Okay, well let's move on to the table and create a cute little tablescape for Easter. Starting with the centerpiece, I'm adding this basket, which you'll have to stick around to the end to see how it turns out because I do end up making some changes. To the basket, I'm adding these faux grass tiles that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and they fit perfectly in this basket. Now they do snap together very nicely. so. You could actually use them alone without the basket. Next, I'm going to add these beautiful, realistic white faux tulips that I found off Amazon. I would love to link them down below for you all, but unfortunately, they're unavailable. I'm just going to go ahead and arrange them in this gorgeous watering can piece that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. So this is how it's looking so far and then I wanted to give you a closer look at that faux grass. But I just love how this is coming together. Now I'm going to add this He is Risen Cross also from Hobby Lobby and I think I'm going to just stand it up by leaning it on the handle of the pot. 
Then to tie everything together, I'm going to add more of those colorful Easter eggs that I've sprinkled around the kitchen. Moving right along to the place setting, I'm starting with these pink and white checked placemats that I found off of Amazon. Then I'll be adding these white distressed chargers from Hobby Lobby. Next, I'll be using our basic white dinner plates that I picked up from Walmart. Now I love these because you can use them for any season and they are great for many styles of decor as well. To add in a pop of blue, I'm going to add these napkins that I picked up from Target. Now they're a little bit wrinkly and I probably should have ironed them, but I, before Easter, I'll make sure to do that. Now, if you're new here, you may not realize that this is the table that we have been using for every meal because our dining room, we actually sold our table um, on Facebook Marketplace and our new table should be delivered within the next, uh, I would say, couple weeks. So possibly I may be getting that before Easter. So this whole table arrangement may move into there or I may be coming up with a totally different um, Easter arrangement. So you might want to uh, look forward to that one. So get that notification bell on so you won't miss that. As you can see, I'm adding these adorable nests with eggs atop these colorful salad plates, both from Hobby Lobby, to complete the table setting. So over here on our coffee bar, I'm just going to be adding some colorful eggs just to tie in all the egg theme that is going on here in our kitchen. If you're enjoying today's video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. And also, if you think that you know somebody that you could share it with, I'd appreciate if you would just pass this video along. And if you happen to miss my coffee bar, Decorate With Me for Spring, I'll go ahead and list that up in a card up above so you can go watch that one as well. So after stepping back and looking at this basket, I just think it's too dark. So I think I'm going to go ahead and remove that and then just lay it down flat and not have an elevated surface. So you'll have to stay tuned and see how this looks at the end. So that is how it looks without the basket. And I actually think I do prefer that. So I'm going to stick with that. And with that being said, I think that does it for today's Decorate With Me here in our kitchen. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me and watching me decorate our kitchen area for spring and Easter. And if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and I'll be decorating a little bit for Easter in our family room and then there's some really new things coming for our dining room that I'm sure that you'll want to not miss. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and be sure to have your notification bell on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching friends. Have a blessed day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.